do not like the start. Do as many times as you want. Fifteen. Well, I, can well, go I might run out of tape. So. Okay. Tape. That's a cool way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> tape. Remember when we used to have to shoot on tape? tape. Mini DV. Yeah, man. mini DV. Oh That's God, where I was so at. Cool. Cody here has blown up over the last like few months. I learned. Months. I thought it was like a year, but it's like yeah. a few months. It was a little over two months, I believe. Yeah. And it, it's just an iconic image. It, when you go to the YouTube channel, if you haven't seen Cody, <laughs> like jump in the air, like flying through yeah. your space. Uh, it, it really kind of sets the tone for your channel, which is very motivational. You're working with doers. Yeah. You're making them, uh, helping them create. Right. Helping them create better. Right. So you... When I saw you, because David, my partner, he is he he was always like watching this Cody guy. I'm like, who is this Cody guy? Oh my god. Yeah. And then I like fell in love with you. I was like, you're awesome. Yeah, yeah. And I <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did she you said, say? and then I was pissed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, All right. You know, There's a consequence. Right. Then we met like the first time, right yep. here in the hallways, and I, I, I you're just so authentic. There's that word. That's right? fine. It's, it's fine. Authentic. Yep. Yep. So you are who you are mm -hmm. on camera, and I hate the word authenticity. Okay. I really despise the word authenticity because right. it's so overused, right. and people don't actually it got watered like, down. embrace what it means. Mm -hmm. So I want to know what it means to you. Yeah. So I actually love the word authentic because I'm fine with I'm fine with I'm fine with all overused words being overused. Okay. Because the reason they got overused, the reason they turned into cliches, yeah. is that they're legit good things, right? So authentic to me just means who you are in here is who you are out there. And, uh, and yeah, something that I strive for and it's something that it took me, I think it took me a long time to really start to feel like I could be my actual self on camera, on YouTube. And then as a result of that, I started being able to be my actual self with people, like with a in actual life. Because you weren't before. Because I wasn't before. So shy, or? and not shy. I've always been in. I've always been super outgoing and and crazy. Um, but more, just more reserved. Yeah, more okay. reserved, okay. right? And um, and I have ADHD. That's something that I've started to wear in my sleeve since starting YouTube. Um, like kind of just accepting who I am as like a well-rounded, as a full person, yeah. flaws and all, uh -huh. and that's been super freeing. Okay. That's authenticity to me. Yeah. And how often do you have to come back to yourself and be like, all right, I'm living who I am on yeah. camera, or do you have to check in with yourself? Yeah, I think, I think so for me, uh, making videos on YouTube is kind of like therapy. It's kind of like cathartic. Mm. So it's a constant check-in progress yeah. process. So it's like, you know, I'm making a video and then I'm editing a video. And then, so every day, I'm a daily, I do daily, I do daily videos. Cause he's insane. Daily, daily vids. Um, yeah. Every day I make, I'm having to kind of cut myself and this image of myself together to, to broadcast out there. So it's a constant check. It's a constant check-in for me yeah. of like, and, and a constant like minor corrections to make sure that I'm, you know, am who I want to be. And when it comes to creating the content, you're, yeah. you're, you're putting the content out there. It's not like, it is actually searchable content, mm -hmm. but you're not making it for that purpose. Well, that's or like the, you? that's the, the tension, right? Um, you know, evergreen versus like daily vlog kind of throwaway stuff. Um, I do, I try to make most of my vlogs evergreen. Like I try to, each vlog I want to teach something or, or do something that will work years from now. But then like when it comes to titling and descriptions and tags and all that stuff and it's just a daily vlog, it's just, it's just a tension, it's a fine line. But yeah, it's something that I try to walk. Okay, so what, what started like, what started this type of content for you? Mm -hmm. Were you doing other content before? Yeah, so I started a company five years ago um, that was just video production company, commercial yeah. clients, weddings, all the stuff. And then at the beginning, I saw a Casey vlog like two and a half years ago. Yeah. And I was like, what is that? That is a different thing than I'm used to. And I, and I studied him. I studied him. Like I binged all of his stuff. And I'm like, this is a new way of storytelling that I have never seen before. And I love it. And I, and I felt like I have the charisma and ability to be able to do it. Technical ability. And waited like uh, two years. And then 
January 1st of this year, started a daily vlog, um, kind of as a challenge and as a commitment to myself to be able to, to grow and go through this whole process. And now I'm on day two. Today's 283, I believe. 283. That 283 is... bids in a, in a row. Insane. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, are you? I had a question and I completely forgot it, but we're going to edit this part yep, out. Yeah, yeah. One thing that I think would be important. So, in terms of uh, vlogging, like yeah. you're doing daily content, right. you've got a family, right. you've got a kid, like, right. I mean, how, how do you manage that? Do you, Are they comfortable with it? Did you have to get permission? Yeah. Yes, 100%. So that, that was part of the two year wait period from like knowing I should start one to actually starting one yeah. was um, it just didn't ever seem like the time was right. You know, it was like we're starting a family and then we're having another baby and, um, and like just, you know, work and life and all the different stuff. But I kept kind of coming back to it with my wife, Amber. And um, yeah, coming up to the beginning of this year, I was like, hey, what about a daily vlog? And she's like, you've been talking about this for a while. Like, you should do this. And um, so she was in support of it from the beginning. Um, once the channel really started to explode and, and the audience started to build and all that stuff and started getting more serious, um, she said like, look, I know you gotta capitalize on this. I know that now's the time to grow. Um, make hay while the sun shines sort of thing, right? Yeah. Um, but it's gonna be hard and we're gonna have to constantly be checking in with each other. So that's something that we've been trying to really prioritize is like making sure that we're good. Yeah, that's that's really good that you have that support right. and you have that pre communication. Mm -hmm. pre Couldn't do it without it. Yeah. Uh, I know, like a lot of my friends, their their significant others don't watch their stuff, and like that's hard. I don't know if I could do that. You don't know if that you could watch the significant. I don't know. I don't know stuff. if I could keep vlogging <laughs> if I if like Amber wasn't into it. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, if she yeah, wasn't yeah. if she wasn't a fan, yeah. I don't know if I could do it. No, it would be hard. Yeah. It would be hard. But yeah. sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? Gotta do what you got to do. So in terms of the technical ability that you knew you had going into this, yeah. uh, how much time do you spend in a daily vlog mm -hmm. where you have a life to live as well and a business to run, right? Right. How much time do you spend actually thinking through the shots? Do you wake up in the morning thinking, all right, this is how I'm going to do this? Mm -hmm. Or do you really just go and hope it turns right. out? It's a, it's a combo. So like sometimes I'll wake up and I have an idea and like a shot list in mind and I'll get out my phone and I'll take notes about the shot list and like, and like go get it. You know yeah. what I mean? Sometimes I wake up and be like, I have no idea what I'm doing today. I'm just going to start documenting what's going on and then hopefully it turns into something. Um, sometimes it's a little bit of a combo. Okay. Sometimes it, it, I get into an adventure midday, and it like takes the takes the whole vlog in a different direction. But it's the free flowing nature of it that's really exciting for me, and the fact that it changes every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's the creative process. Right, and that's what I love. Yeah. So you started this movement. Right. No, no small creator. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. What does it yeah, mean? Yeah, no small creator. We wear it on the inside. Love I don't know it. how wide your shot is. <laughs> <laughs> it says it oh, says every day. Every day. Every, I'm a daily vlogger. Not that I'm looking at his underwear. <laughs> Sorry, it's my fault for lifting my shirt up. Um, no small creator, every day underwear. Um, yeah, no small creator. Just the idea that creation's massive, like the creative process. That it's a beautiful thing, but it's huge. The fact that we can take something in here, and then like now it exists outside of us. That's massive, and so this idea on YouTube it gets thrown around the most. A small creator this, small creator that. Right. The idea that there could be a small creation or a small creator doesn't make sense, doesn't compute. There is no small creator, that's what the movement is. And what is involved in this movement Yeah, exactly? so it's a, it's a Facebook group. It's I mean, it started as just a hashtag on Instagram and Twitter, and then now a hashtag on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, in the Facebook group, you have to answer a couple of questions. It's like, will you encourage people? Are you here to actually engage in conversations or are you just trying to drop links? Yeah. Um, that sort of thing. And, and, uh, yeah, so it's about encouragement. It's about like, look, this is hard. It's hard to be putting this much into something when you don't have a massive following or audience. Right? Mm -hmm. So, um, we're all here to kind of support each other. Yeah. I love it. No small creator. You gotta be in the right mindset to do yeah. this stuff. So. Yeah. What's one thing nobody knows about you? One thing no people know a lot about me after two hundred and eighty four three daily vlogs. Yeah, that's what I'm um about you. 
So this is a hard I mean, I question. Know what's on your right, you know exactly. Exactly. And that wasn't even actually that was a vlog. There I don't I don't remember what <laughs> But yeah, this was, this was a brand deal. And um, it's this company called Separate Tech. Rabbit Trail. Rabbit Trail. We don't need to go there. We don't need to go there. Um, <laughs> squirrel, right. Uh, something nobody knows about me is that I really, really appreciate time alone to just sit and do nothing and and uh, try to like you know meditation whatever try to clear my thoughts I'm an extrovert like it seems like I love just constantly being around people and I do but, you have to recharge. but I need I do need some time for myself yeah. from time to time and how do you do that in a room outside by water all the places by water is one of my favorite Mine too. Um, but yeah all those places wherever I can okay wherever you can mm -hmm. so there's not one spot right fantastic all right well we're gonna I feel like <laughs> Don't go down lower. Then I gotta. Then I gotta go lower. <laughs> like, we're just constantly just. This is how we do oh, interviews sometimes. <laughs> just end it like that. There you just go. End it like this. Stop. Right. We're wrapped. Like I'm dying. Someone who wants to I, edit I for me. I think that there's. I, I think that we can find <laughs> some help. All right. He quits. <laughs> I make awesome videos. I can make you a video. How about you make me a neon peach? Wait.